Today, after I don't know, 10 days, we are back in solo queue. So I hope you guys have been doing fine in the days that we haven't seen each other. In the meantime, let's still ban this guy. I think he's still OP right now. So I know I've been gone for a while and I want to make this comeback game a little special. And I think the only hero fit for that job is a very straight manliest man Lancelot. Oh crap, they switched me. I was, uh, I was kidding. I don't know how to play this guy. And since we are practicing or trying out Lancelot in ranked, why don't we use a trial card as well? And now that we are in the game, we have to put ourselves in the shoes of a really manly man. And what would a manly man do? Would a man go to the blue buff like a pussy or be a man and take on the red buff? Yeah, I'm sure you know the answer, right? I wonder what this panda's doing in the blue buff area. I can see that he's injured in the map and it looks like he ate the small blue buff. That is why if you own a panda guys, yeah, make sure you feed them before you take them into battle. Dang, I think we have to postpone our jungling because it looks like our teammates need our help. I mean, I got no choice. I don't want them to be double killed by that super dangerous Mia. Hey, uh, X-Boy. I think they're pretty busy in the top lane having a little fun with a little team fight while at the same time forgetting about the objective which is this turtle. It's up to you and me now to cook this turtle soup properly in your face Aldous. And now that we have taken care of the objective like a proper jungler, it's time to give this Mia a little bit of poking. But it looks like she brought protection and anti-poking Tigril. Oh, how cute. This Mia thinks that walking under her tower gives her protection from my poking. Yes, it does. It's very effective. But never mind that because it's time for another turtle soup. Shut up, invisible Tiggy boy. I may not have secured our kill at the top lane, but this turtle soup is ours. And it looks like our panda is also very good at sniffing out injured tanks in the enemy jungle. Thank you so much. Odette. Beautiful Odette. What are you doing in the enemy jungle though? Oh crap, there are too many. It's a good thing that our panda is here so that we can both die together. I swear, these enemies really have no chill, but it's a good thing because they're leaving their bird lady to die in the back lane. Come on panda, we're not gonna back off now. We still have to pay them back for what they did to us earlier. And the only way to do that is to poke them while she's getting away. Thank you, Tiggy boy. Now we can poke this Silvana to our heart's desire. And since you've been a really good boy, here's a free shortcut back to the base. Come on, Panda, what do you mean it's the wrong time to do the Lord? It's not like that Aldous can kill you. I mean, it's not like that Aldous can steal the... Could you just... Could you just... Could you just shut up, Aldous? You, you already take in everything. You didn't see nothing, Ricky. Hey, uh, Beatrix, um, is, uh, what are we doing here? Is it because I didn't get the Lord? Yeah, it's, it's probably that, isn't it? But that is fine, I don't think I need the blue buff if we are only going to defend our base. And once again, Tigreal, thank you so much for the shortcut and giving me access to your bird lady. He's such a nice guy. Anyways, let's focus on not getting a defeat selfie today. So let's get rid of all these minions before they destroy our tower. And go back to basics like going back to the jungle and getting our blue buff before Beatrix steals it again. And also the red buff to make sure that we are fully prepared for what's coming up next. Um, that Mia might be coming up next or maybe this Tigreal in the middle lane or maybe this Mia. I'm not sure where to go next but since our location has been revealed we have no choice but to let this Mia eat Beatrix bullets. She's evolving guys. Earlier she secured our buff, now she secured our kill. But that is fine. It looks like we have an opportunity here to help out our dead panda teammate by distracting them with my beautiful ult while our teammate free hits from behind. Wow, did they nerf Beatrix already or is that not gonna happen at all? Alright, a couple of enemies are dead. That only means that we might have some time to take down this lord and make it ours. Hmm, I don't feel so good about this. I don't see any enemies on the map because they're here. Just in time to watch me secure this lord. And is this Aldous going to punch my face? Let's find out in the next episode of Aldous Chickening Out. Oh, I guess they didn't see that panda tornado coming in. That's why you have to watch news and weather reports. Also, uh, Mr. Panda, you're on your own. I, I'm out. I don't want to deal with that guy. 
but I definitely want to deal with that drilling lady. She's looking so tasty right now, especially when my teammates already did all the hard work. And all I gotta do is secure our kill. But the fight is not over because we got Mr. Overexercised Right Arm Guy here trying to hunt a very agile panda. Hmm, must be the Kung Fu variant. But whatever kind of panda you're hunting, just know that it's illegal and also very tasty. Just like this team fight happening here in the enemy jungle. And hello to you, Mia. You're looking pretty today. You're looking pretty dead. But wait, there's more. It looks like this Tiggy boy forgot to join his teammates. So what kind of teammate are you? Don't leave your teammates alone in the afterlife. Meanwhile, I think we can take down this tower if we just put our minds into it. They only have two people defending their base anyway. But I think it's time for us to go guys because Aldous is alive and the enemies are now chasing us. Okay, I'm not gonna be part of this team fight that we should have not taken. But I had to try saving that panda. He has done so many good things for us in this game. So I think in order to honor his memory, I guess I'm gonna have this enemy red buff. Guys, I think you should listen to Beatrix and retreat and just take the lure. This is the perfect time to not be doing what you guys are doing right in the mid lane, which is team fighting for nothing. So I guess we don't have much of a choice but to try and save this ex-boy because we already lost three of our teammates and it looks like we took down one of them. Oh, what the hell was that? Never mind, it's just a dead me. Alright guys, let's try that again. Take two. We're going to focus on getting an objective, not getting ourselves killed. So hopefully our teammates can wait for me and we're chasing a Mia again on the other side of the map, opposite of where the Lord is. Alright, I'll join you. If I can help you finish this nonsense early, then we can go back to the business of objective taking. And it looks like our teammates are getting pushed back to the base. It's a good thing that we get to poke this Silvana from behind while she's busy drilling thin air right there or maybe Anatalia, I don't know. Anyways, we gotta see if we can take down that Aldous. He's the real threat. If we can take him down, then we might be able to win this game. It's just a matter of using our teammates as a distraction before we go in, but I don't think we can go in. So let's, let's just clear this wave for now so that this minion wave can push to their mid lane. And then we can take our red buff while our teammates try to take the Lord. Wait a minute. Who told you guys to start the Lord without my permission? That's actually a great idea. We just have to take care of this Tigreal who is ulting for his uh, team. Wait a minute. Where's your team? Are your team a bunch of Natalias? Because I don't see anyone around here. Also, good job team for doing my job for me, which is taking that objective. Also, what's up Ricky? How's it going? Hey, what the heck? I was... What, what do you guys think you're doing? If you guys are gonna be rude like that every time I try to make a conversation with a friend, then I don't want to play with you anymore. So I guess we should finish this game. And we have to make sure that this Mia doesn't resurrect and wipe us out. And that's it. We ain't gotta do nothing anymore. We just stand here, say cheese, and there we go. Another successful victory selfie, and this time we get a bonus. We have a real photographic proof that Farsa has a bird. Should come in handy in case we need to blackmail her. And that's gonna be our gameplay of the manliest man ever in Mobile Legends. And yeah, it's good to be back, and thank you for your support and for coming back to waste a couple of minutes with me on a daily basis in solo queue. So again, my name is Shin Mentagazo. Thank you for watching these videos. Check out our other uploads for the many and different heroes we played in the past. Hit subscribe for more of these in the future. Always take care of yourself, stay healthy, and stay safe. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.